Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on GTA 5 playing around with some more mods today. We've got the fantastic Peel P50 that I'm going to be attempting to drive up to maybe even faster than 200 miles an hour. A lot of people wanted to see me have a go with this. I have no doubt we can get the car to the speed. It's whether we're going to have any control over the vehicle and that is going to be the real issue with this can i actually keep control of the peel when we're getting past you know the 150 mile an hour mark and so on now to get the car up to these speeds i've got the engine power multiplier mod that i've used uh quite a few videos a while ago and um, i've got that back installed so we're going to whack it up to 400 is going to be our starting point we're going to see what i can do with 400 see how close we get uh, if we need more power i will uh, i will add it on if it's far too much for us to control then uh, i can turn it down now all of this power is going through <laughs> a single wheel it's one wheel drive uh, at the back here oh good god and uh, perhaps the uh, the bigger concerns is uh, not necessarily the putting the power down it's the fact that the peel well it does quite like to wobble oh that's a g-wagon that would be a painful collision to have uh, oh crap i was i was kind of sneakily hoping that uh, that we could do it there before i'd uh, left the airport uh i never mind i shall save you i shall say i'll save your car oh crap big oversteer i won't save your car <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me, don't mind me, I've just got, oh, I've got my rear wheel stuck a little bit. Come back here, car thief, I shall use the mighty peel. It is the world's best pursuit vehicle. I lied, maybe not the world's best pursuit vehicle. Uh, we've got to try and stop the spinny. The spinny bit is not so good. Admittedly, the, the <laughs> you are the world's worst getaway driver. Yes, I have stolen this car, which I now sit behind an El Camino, doing 20 miles an hour. It seems whenever I do these videos, we find that you are just terrible you are a terrible 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 getaway driver oh crap uh <laughs> admittedly i mean <laughs> i'm not doing amazingly well at controlling the peel but the peel is crazy uh, we have got it up to i think 100 miles an hour already but uh, that was on a nice straight piece of road the handling is it's safe to say it's not really not really designed for uh <laughs> <laughs> for, for dealing with this sort of speeds. Come on, mighty peel. Oh, that's a big bump. Uh, uh, I don't even dare look at what speed we're doing. We're doing 150. Okay, we're going to do it, I think. I've got to go on the brakes. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oops. There, um, uh, there may have been a small fiery explosion for the... <laughs> <laughs> the peel, not not quite um, hmm, what I had intended on that one. Uh, we may have we may have lost one car. <laughs> I thought I could do it, and then at the last second, I realised where I was heading towards, and the brakes were not going to slow us down. Right, let's go and get another one out, shall we? Uh, right, here we go. I've got another peel P50. We'll see if a grey one fares better than my orange one. Uh, I think I did say that it was still at uh, the. Uh, 400 times multiplier. Uh, hello, people. What is that? Oh, the red dot is flashing away to tell me where I destroyed myself. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, Petros, they rebuilt that really damn quick, didn't they? I mean, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I hit. They did a really good job of rebuilding that. Um, yeah, it turns out Peel versus Petrol Pump. Petrol Pump does does win quite a lot. Are we sure we've got power, actually, in this? Yeah, it says we do have power. There we go. I think I just have to press it just to get it to, to now to sort of re-register itself in this uh, ooh, in this vehicle. Ah, okay. Maybe the city is not a good place for trying this. I kind of wanted to try it in the city. I do spy a motorway. I'm not going to go up that motorway. That's kind of the easy motorway. Oh, we're just going to go for... <laughs> I bet we could do some awesome donuts in this. Oh, look at it. Uh, it's pretty good. There we go. Look at it go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Peel P50. Amazing donuts from this car. Right, I was going to go up the other motorway. The other motorway is, is a little bit more of a challenge going up the other side. And then if we're really desperate and still can't do it, we'll come back down uh, that side there. Uh, that's where we are likely to be able to do it. There are some relatively straight bits of, uh, of that motorway we can, uh, we can get the car up to speed on. Oh, God, the cornering. The cornering and the wibbling and the wobbling of the Peel. Oh, no, no, no. Careful. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I apologise. That was not intentional. Nothing I'm really doing with this car is massively intentional. It's kind of doing things and I'm vaguely fighting it. I mean, we get 120. That's about as fast as the adder will go in this game standard. That we were just, you know, just using it in, in the city. Oh, crap, that's a muscle car. We don't want to hit the muscle car in the face. Oh, we've not rolled it, though. Oh, I mean, we've got away with that being a long way. 
a long way on its side. Oh, through the crowd of people. I mean, we are small enough that if there is a crowd of people, we can find... Oh, that's... Hold it. <laughs> suspension gave up, and I don't blame it. The suspension really gave up on that corner. <laughs> I may have asked an awful lot of it. Um... Yeah, Mr. Policeman, if you see this car, just ignore the big blood splat down the side, okay? That was definitely not a person that I, uh, that I slid into. In fact, the way we're headed, we're gonna go straight past the police station. That's fine. Uh, what speed? We're about 100. It feels so fast in this car. Like 106. Oh, crap, that's a solid wall. I thought I could go through there. That, that should not have survived that as shunt as well as it did. <laughs> okay, that was my bad. I really thought I could. I don't know why I thought I could, but, uh... I could jump that. Yeah, it feels so, so quick in this car when you are doing any speeds. Okay, just don't do a random flip. Oh, dear. Just random flip. I mean, that works as well. And wait for it, wait for it. Land is stick the landing. Slightly sunk a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the peel is amazing at these sort of speeds. Okay. It doesn't sort of roll over just through heavy cornering, but the second that you upset it with a bump or a curb, that's all it takes, and then the car will start tumbling. And then it will start rolling manically, manically out of control. Uh, okay, now we are going to, oh, do a big two-wheeled moment down there and uh, unleash the power of the peel, maybe. Maybe just have a little lift, because the power of the peel is a little bit too much through this. Uh, brakes are no good either. <laughs> The brakes are not good enough at slowing this thing down from the sort of the speeds that it will get to. That's 160, but I got to have a brake and a lift because otherwise we're never going to make this turn. Uh, I've still got it under control though. Still got it under control. We're just whizzing past motorbikes and uh, <laughs> all sorts of vehicles. We're not whizzing past that though because I thought I'd turned enough and I hadn't. Careful. Go, go on. Go on. Get facing the right direction. Peel. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. The motorbike may have caught up slightly. Don't be too embarrassed about me whizzing past you in the. <laughs> <laughs> in the mighty micro car. Right, let's try it. Let's try again, shall we? The real trick is let's not lose control. I promise it's just, there's too many. That's going to hurt. <laughs> there are just too many of these sudden turns that I cannot carry the speed out. Okay, we're smoking, which is not too much of a surprise. Also, a funny noise going on, and I'm not sure what from. Right, let's fix up my car. Fix up the peel. Get it back on its wheels. Oh, there's a big wheelie going on there. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> Happy? Ready? to try again for the speed runs uh yeah as i expected this is a this is a tougher road to uh, go down try to figure out whether that truck was making a funny noise what i don't know something made a really odd noise but never mind uh we're up to 130 again but these corners we just can't take at the uh, at the speed funnily enough the suspension is not really designed or suited to do <laughs> doing this sort of thing. We might get the 200 through the army tunnel, uh, or the tunnel under the army base. I'm not sure if it's the army's tunnel, you but lucky, uh, yeah, it probably will probably crack it there because we don't have to worry about any of the corners and maybe we'll whack the power up even more for the uh, for the return journey. Uh, the cars in GTA 5 are limited to so I think about 325, 335 miles an hour, something like that, or it goes too fast and crash the whole game. That is also a distinct possibility. <laughs> so, okay, Little bit of weirdness just went on with the uh, with the game. I'm not entirely sure what happened. The game kind of froze, and then I tabbed out, and uh, the game started working again. Either way, when I got regained control of my car, it smacked into some stuff, and I've broken the peel in a really weird way. As you can see, kind of like the the, the suspension at the back, like the bar and uh, the thing for the wheel are pointing in the wrong direction, which means when I press forward, I'm pressing the accelerator trigger here. We go backwards, and when I press reverse... No! Don't steal the broken peel! Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't got any weapons because I was messing about with another mod uh, that took away my weapons. Right, we've got to have a bottle fight in the uh, middle. Go away, for God's sake. Now, leave me alone. Okay, yeah, just to have the biker run you over. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I've got the police after me. Look, I've got the broken... Uh, this has not gone to plan. The peel is so broken that uh, this is the only way... <laughs> I'm not even sure what I've done. What have I done? I've broken the model completely. <laughs> I should be accelerating forwards at this moment in time, and we aren't at all. <laughs> it's all broken. I don't think peels were built to do... 200 miles an hour somehow, or certainly they weren't built to have a 200 mile an hour crash, and then things go really bizarre. Oh, look at that, we've got almost 20 miles an hour with the... Oh, God's sake. Right, I think I may have to have a reset with all of this and uh, get it working properly. 
Right, okay, we're back. We've got our orange peel back sorted out. We have the uh, the 400 uh, power multiplier, and we're going to try going through the army tunnel again. Hopefully, we won't try and break the game barrier and uh, <laughs> cause everything to all explode. Uh, yeah, I don't know what on earth happened that, that last time around. If we can not break the peel, and we stand a very, very good chance of hitting a ridiculous speed. Go on, peel! We can do it if we don't lose control of the car. There we go, 200. And 50 miles an hour, 260, and we hit a bus. 260. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Somehow Michael is alive, and I don't know how. <laughs> 260 miles an hour, and we really, really lost control of the peel. Peel! I mean, okay, you, you, you've gone quicker than a Veyron. Um, I'm not sure if we can... I might need to borrow someone's car. Can I, can I borrow a vehicle? Anybody gonna offer me a vehicle that I can use to uh, <laughs> rescue the stricken Peel? You there, in the Audi. You can have it back in a second. Okay, I just need you to help me roll over the 260 mile an hour Peel. Uh, oh crap, <laughs> power multiplier will be affecting this car here. God damn it, that thing is solid. Uh, excuse me, if we could uh, right the car. There we go, I've got my Peel back. Um, <laughs> I think the blood on the front of it is from Michael when he got thrown out in front of the uh, front of the car. Okay, let's <laughs> let's have a fix of the uh, of the peel. All right, there we go. Let's shall we see if we can maybe going this way is not such a good idea because uh, after the bridge there is quite a fast corner. Uh, I'll go. On. We'll go for two hundred, then slam on the brakes. Oh no! Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it, it wobbles about so much at speed. Oh, we may have caused a bit of an accident. On the uh, on the oh no they're all fine. It wobbles about. Will you take it up to this speed? That little movements cause such big problems. Okay, jump on the brakes. We're probably not going to stop. Hey, I didn't cause that crash. We've witnessed a <laughs> a random AI crash uh, going on there. Right, again, let's reset. Let's fix everything up. Uh, <laughs> Peel is in good condition again. Hopefully, we stand the best chance of now going at uh, ri really ridiculous speeds. That's, that's the plan. I've got to try and not lose control. The problem is, of course, that this is going to get so narrow uh, as we go through the tunnel that uh, is trying to dodge the traffic at 260. It's not going to work. Oh, it is going to work. I'm going to lose control of it. Keep control of the car at 220. Not quite. <laughs> Almost. So close. I made it so far at that speed. And then there was just a little, a, a small clip on the, uh, <laughs> the front of a baller. Oopsie. Well, the tunnel is certainly a good place to get up to speed, about 260 miles an hour is what we have got out of the peel so far. However, as expected, at that kind of speed, well, control is is very, very limited at best. So we're gonna, I'm going to go around the top of the map, we'll try and keep control of said vehicle as we go around the top of the map, uh, and then as we run back into the city on the, oh, the other side, sorry, motorbike list with... Uh, <laughs> I may not have intended on that one there. That sent him flying off that one. It, it, you, you do struggle to get anywhere, really, with this vehicle without bumping into something. And the problem is, because it is so small and light, when it does bump into something, bad things tend to happen to you. In uh, Inside this one, very easy to get chucked out of the car. Uh, it is very good fun, though, with this. Thing. It is just so ludicrously fast. And there is just enough control. Like with the bulldozer, there is just no control, really. With uh, with that thing and some of the other silly vehicles, there is just so little in the way of control. But this, there is just about enough c control to sort of drive it. But um, it's still ooh, it's still suitably wibbly to be uh, a very, very challenging vehicle. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't roll. Don't roll. Hold it. Look at that. Some precision driving. <laughs> <laughs> at 120 miles an hour, it's almost as good as the Jelly Lancia's uh, around there. Oh, hey guys, at um, Polito Bay. That was a big bump. That was a big bump. I'm still, I hit 200 miles an hour through Polito Bay. And even with a bit of a jump, I'm getting the hang of the peel. Oh, crap. That looked like a Suburban that I nearly ended up with a face full of. That would be a bad, bad place to have an accident or a bad thing to have an accident with. Come on. 220, but I'm going to go on the brakes because I'm going to try and make this turn. Can we keep it under control all the way back to the city? That is probably asking a little bit too much of uh, my... I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just gone for it. Uh, no, I mean, that was it was only a little bump. It was only a little, little bit of a bump on the uh, whatever it was. I, we're going too fast to even look. Uh, let's just have a little bit of a lift while we try and negotiate this traffic. Still, <laughs> Again, we're still doing the kind of speeds that the adder would do 
flat out. And that was with me being incredibly cautious. Come on, Peel. Let's go for that 260 mile an hour mark. But dear God, people, please don't change lanes. Please don't change lanes when you see this coming up behind you. I can't even look at the speedo. We're at 283 miles an hour. 290. We're not going to make that turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. This may be a little faster than I expected. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this has still got speed to give. As I said, I'm pretty sure 300 and something miles an hour is when the game stops letting cars accelerate anymore, or vehicles in general accelerate anymore, as far as I'm aware, unless there is a change somewhere that I don't know about. Um, so, yeah, I mean, doing 290 on a motorway with traffic in appeal is quite impressive. Unfortunately, I just wasn't never going to make the turn. Again, I mean, this will cruise quite happily about 180 that's actually really turned quite nicely there that's 190 miles an hour and just sort of flexing the accelerator trigger and suddenly suddenly the world is whizzing past and now we're tumbling oh dear god <laughs> look out oncoming traffic land it oh we didn't quite land it we might still pull it off and no not 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 quite i mean we did sort of land eventually <laughs> Okay, uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, right, shall we go for first person? Not that we can see anything uh, in first person because the cabbing is so small. Let's try and see what 290 miles an hour like is in first person in appeal. I am not really sure we're going to see a huge amount. Okay, right, holding A is our best bet to actually see. So the, the, the ducking is useful in this because we might actually stand a chance of seeing what's going on. This is 240 miles an hour in appeal. Navigating traffic. We're going to go into oncoming traffic. This is going to hurt really badly if it goes wrong. Oh, dear God, this is not a good idea. <laughs> oh, Christ, why did we hit a bump? How have we not hit anything solid? Oh, there we go. We hit something solid. <laughs> 2.40 into oncoming traffic for a little while at least. Where did the car go? Um. Ah, there it is. Found the car. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Yes, all peels should be capable of doing 290 miles an hour. It should now be a requirement for them. Uh, it does appear to be a small bit stuck. Excuse me, with the big Chevy. No, oh, bugger it. Uh, fine, you, you have volunteered your car to be on recovery duty. Uh, <laughs> You can have it back once I'm done with it. It's fine. Oh, crap, that didn't land. <laughs> Apparently the Peel is a surprisingly difficult car to recover. Go on, over we go. The Peel is really stubborn. <laughs> really bloody stubborn. Come on, roll over. Or, no, it is not happy. It is not happy at all about being rolled over. Uh, Fine, you know what, bugger it. I was trying to rescue the orange peel. It has done as well. It has got us to um, a 290, but I'm just going to spawn in another one now, because screw it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Oh, we have a red one to try this time. Shall we go again for first person, 200 miles an hour? We do pretty much have to hold A if you want to see anything out of it, because you are so low in the car. Uh <laughs> This is just my this is my favorite combination of mods, I think, maybe. With just so much speed. Right, there we go. 400. I think I've now reset it, so it should be good. With just so much speed, so little control. But because the vehicle is so tiny, you can weave in and out of traffic at 200 miles an hour in it. It's uh, just fantastic fun. Right, Peel, let's go again. I want to see first person at 290 miles an hour on a motorway. I could take it to the airport and uh, drive it at the silly speeds there, but there's not the same risk, the same danger when there's traffic just millimetres away from you. Ah, the speed! We've cracked 300! Oh, dear God, yeah, 335. There we go. We've maxed out the speed, and that's a big flip. Uh, <laughs> there's a train there. I don't know where I am anymore. I think I may have climbed a mountain, and now we might be coming back down said mountain. <laughs> we we got to the speed limit of the game with appeal, and I did have control of it up until the point where there was a bump, and my god, where on earth are we? Uh, <laughs> we have ended up a very long way away from where we should have been. That's, um... <laughs> Oh, this vehicle is fantastic. I love it. One small bump and up to... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. You hit 300 miles an hour. You can't get stuck in a little hill. Are we good? We rescued? Uh, actually, that probably was a good way to go, actually. Get back onto the uh, to the road. <laughs> yeah, oh, we flew so far in that crash. 
That was that. It was amazing. It, it, apparently, we freaked out someone on a bike because there is just a random bike in the middle of the road. Yeah, uh, apparently hit, hitting a bump in a uh, 300 mile an hour peel is not a good idea. Okay, well, four, uh, 400 times power multiplier is more than enough to get you up to uh, the absurd speed. Hello! I thought they were the policemen, they're not, they're just generic bikers. Um, now just gonna go too much, gonna do 300 in oncoming traffic. Admittedly, I am cheating by being on the hard shoulder here. Oh dear god, the speed is immense, that was 290. We're not gonna make the turn, we're gonna bounce off some rocks. <laughs> And amazingly, somehow, Michael stayed in the car that time. Oh well. Uh, yeah, the 300 mile an hour peel is an awful, awful lot of fun as we just tumble. Are we going to stop tumbling? Maybe. I mean, this is a less dramatic crash, okay? <laughs> now we're just going to go for the tumble record, are we? Are we ever going to stop? I'm not even touching the controller at the moment. This is just at what it wants to do. And, oh, Are we going to land it eventually? No. And... Hey, we've come to a rest. <laughs> oh dear, yes, the peel will crack 200 miles an hour. And you can actually dodge through traffic a little bit. While it is wibbly and wobbly and rather scary, you do still have some control over the vehicle and being so tiny means that it can fit through some gaps. I mean, when we're going at this kind of speed, the brakes were never designed to slow down a car from this speed. So it does take a while to get the peel to uh, or get anything to slow down, let's face it, from this speed, but especially this kind of vehicle. And um, so you will have to be aware that if things are going wrong, you don't really have a huge amount. There's not much you can do, basically. If this is starting to go wrong, you're not stopping it like now. I'm not stopping that. We're going off the uh, off the reservation there. Uh, of course, the, the, the grip at 300 miles an hour is also not ideal and random bumps can upset the car and send it skyward, but uh, I would still highly recommend having a go with uh, with this kind of thing. Yeah, even when things do go wrong, you tend to get really spectacular crashes anyway. So it is kind is kind of worth it. Anyway, that was a ridiculously fast Peel P50. I will put a link to all of the mods that I've used in this video, so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.